Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take the pinch brush. Turn on Lazy Mouse. And for some of these forms, I'm going to take and pinch them together. This is going to make it look a little higher res. I'm going to turn up the pinch. Not that high. Maybe a little bit less. It's going to get rid of a lot of those little anomalies within this. And you got to be kind of savvy with it. And it's going to make thin marks and thick marks. Just let it happen. It's cool. Remember, there's also going to be a handle in this area. Alright, that's what I, exactly what I wanted. Um, now, you can get as detailed as you want. Let's say, you know, if, if I wanted to really, 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 really go to town on this, I could. Uh, let's say I show you one little kind of trick that I like. If I go to the standard brush, then choose this brush. This is my pen brush. And if I hold Control and Command... I can kind of mask off little tiny areas. Okay, just like that. And I can mask off all the in-between areas if I wanted to. The next step would be inversing that mask. And in those areas, I could take a drag rectangle with some kind of, oh, some kind of pattern. Take off Lazy Mouse, of course. And maybe not that pattern, because that's ugly. But I think you get the idea. You can produce a pattern. In just certain little areas. Now I don't really want to do that. So I don't want to screw this up. And it's all about. Subtleties. Like that. That looks nice. So that's just in that one little area now. So those are just little tricks. I'm just going to leave it plain because I want to keep it as as easy for you to mimic. And I want you to extrapolate. I'm just going to give you the ideas and let you run with it. All right. So I'm going to say complete it. And then I'm going to say transform, clear pivot. 
and put it together with the other form and see what it looks like. That means getting out of solo mode. So already it looks pretty nice the way it is. Alright, so all we have left is the blade. The blade's really super simple to do, um, so I'm going to do that in the next video.